Hey everybody, it is your girl here, and welcome back to another Vesteria video. Today what we'll be doing is going over stats and the possible best tier class within the game. Now remember, this is completely subjectable on everyone's opinions. When you're picking a class, everybody usually wonders what exactly could be the possible best class that you can pick within the game. There is Warrior, Mage, and Rogue. So again, these are subjectables. Um, they're subjectable to other opinions, opinions based on other players and how those people play those uh, classes. Now, my class within this game is a Warrior. I've been playing Warrior within RPG games for the past 10 years or so. And to me personally, I prefer the Warrior all over classes basically so that would include like dragon age for example you have all of these different classes you have mages you have rogues you have warriors you just have all of these classes and i just find the warrior to be a lot more um hands-on within the game now to put it simple these three classes all have their perks and they have all of their downfalls Warrior is more of a hands-on combat type of class on here. So if you kind of like to have that challenge when you play the game, I would highly suggest going for Warrior. Now, the only downside with Warrior is you do have to wear some armor, and I believe there is a pair of armor within this um, within the game that actually slows you down. It takes away one speed, and that can be problematic when you're actually playing in the Colosseum or if you're going against the Spider Queen. Needless to say, there are different types of armor that you can get in the game, which isn't as good as the Stronghold armor um, that will actually protect you more. For example, I'm using the Steel armor rather than the top tier armor within the game because it doesn't slow you down. If you're wearing the headgear, if you're wearing the armor, and if you're wearing the boots, every single one of those are gonna take a point away from your speed so you'll basically be a walking brick. Now you can get armor within the Spider Queen layer, which is heavily expensive because you do get a couple of um, spider gems here and there, but you do have to save a lot in order to get the entire set without spending your silver. And you have a chance to also get the uh, gladiator set within the Colosseum area, which can cost a lot of points as well as silver. If you want a class that will last you a long time in a battle, Warrior might be for you. However, PvP and competitive wise, it can be hard to use because you do have to be tactical when it comes to your moves. If you're going against mages and thieves slash rogue, they can be a very competitive battle. You will have an issue battling these, mainly because mages and rogues can be long range not necessarily close range. So you'll have a bit of a struggle when you're in the Colosseum trying to battle other players. As you can tell over here, you have all of your mages, which can and will probably shoot you down in these little areas over here. So you can take a look at all of the warriors and all of the mages currently battling, and you can see the abundance of warriors versus mages and rogues. You can see there's not that many uh, warriors within here because other people decide to use mages and rogues for those main purposes. Um, so you can tell <laughs> not many people use the warrior class. Speaking of which, mages for example. Mages are these magical people basically that use uh, magic points in order to uh, battle other people. Uh, they have these powerful bombs that will tend to kill you within two hits if you're not careful. Uh, I like the mages mainly because they can sometimes heal themselves and their long range hits can actually do some pretty bad damage on you. The only downside to that is low health pretty much and low defense. Now. Not to say that they don't have armor that will benefit them. Every single tier will have armor that will always benefit them. And your placement of your skill keys here uh, do make a difference. So again, 
All of these opinions on my end are completely subjectable. Everybody else can say, well, mages are top tier. Um, it's basically the top tier class, but it mainly depends whether or not you want to be a mage or you want to be a warrior. I probably could never be a mage because to me, it seems like it would too, be too easy of a battle between people. I kind of like that competitiveness and the hardness it can get with uh, battling people pretty much. Now, rogues are completely different. Rogues can be hands-on and they can be long-range attackers. Um, or they could be either or, whichever one that you actually want to be. If you want to be completely long range, then your dexterity needs to be basically all the way up. <laughs> so uh, the one thing that I do like about rogues is they could switch between weapons. If you decide to do what they like to call this as a hybrid, people, what they normally do is put up strength and they put up the dexterity. Uh, what people like to do is they like to even these two things out, which allows you to not only be hands-on with your um, weapons, but you can also be a long-range uh, archer. So that is also beneficial. And people usually like to classify this as the top tier um, class. Now, it depends totally up to you whether or not you want to be a hybrid or if you just want to be long range or if you want to be hands on. So again, these these things you have to kind of take into consideration. Uh, what I like to suggest to people is kind of get a feeling of the class that you want to pick. If you're not too sure on what you'd like to pick as far as your class goes, I'd say mess around in your different save files. Save a game in each file and test one out. This can take a couple of hours considering on the fact that you do need to be level 10 in order to pick your class. But you can go around asking other people in the, in the game itself, what class do you prefer? Now, you will get mixed question or mixed answers within this. Uh, you'll have people who will say mages are the best, or you'll have warriors that are the best, or you'll have uh, rogues that are the best, pretty much. In the end, it's going to end up just being you and how tactical you're going to be within this game. Tacticalness and strategies will definitely help you out. Uh, not only that, but upgrading your armors within this game will help you out tremendously. You can have a crappy piece of armor, yet you can bring it all the way up to have a 100% uh, added bonus to you so you won't die as easily. So where does that leave us? as far as the best rank goes with in the game. So where does that leave us specifically? What class is the best within this game? In my personal opinion, I'm going to say probably, of course, not speaking of which from me personally, I like warriors, but I do like the fact that you are able to switch weapons with the rogue being a handheld and a long range uh, class. I'd have to say rogue, then the warrior, then the mage. I only put warrior on the second part because I like the competitiveness that you can get with warriors. I like the um, competition that will come with it and the struggles that you'll have with the warrior. Not to say the mages are trash. Uh, mages are extremely good and beneficial towards people who do want um, stronger hitbox ranges. Uh, obviously, when you're in the Colosseum, you'll have a battle going on and the bomb will literally take up this huge portion rather than what you just saw right there. That small little circle is exactly what that hitbox is for the warrior's uh, main attack, which is relatively small considering that it is leveled up all the way. Uh, you do have counterattacks and you do have a on par like swing thingy that takes a lot of damage off of a player, but nothing's going to beat the mage's main bomb right over there, which is a huge radius. But me personally, I like mages, but I like warriors. So in my personal opinion, I'm going to put warriors on the second tier. Now, if I were to put this on some sort of different class tier, rogues, mages, and then warriors. Warriors are reserved for people who just like that hands-on combat 
and just like the difficulty of trying to get wins and trying to progress through the game if you want that um if you want that you know difficulty of just progressing through the game i'd highly suggest doing the warrior but if you want an easier game and just to be like quicker in the game itself and get better you know gear quicker i would definitely go with mage or a rogue but other than that, like I said again, this video is completely subjective towards other people's opinions. So other people are of course going to have different opinions on what their, you know, favorite class is and what they personally prefer. But in, again, in my opinion, I prefer warriors 100% over anything else because the, um, the difficulty of it is just a lot more fun to me. But other than that, guys. I'm hosting a little party on June 15th at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and this will be held on twitch.com slash vaporbaby. I will be giving away a whole bunch of scrolls and just a whole bunch of things that I need to clear up out of my inventory because unfortunately the game doesn't allow you to hold many items in the game. So you either sell it, drop it, or give it away. So I'm kind of forced to just give it away at this point. So if you guys want cursed scrolls, you want attack scrolls, defense scrolls, make sure you show up on June 15th this Saturday at 8 p.m. at Vapor Baby on Twitch. And I will be dropping five monster lore parties. So you guys, if you need to do like grinding on XP, this is the perfect time to come to the stream and drop by and say hello and take advantage of this glorious moment. Till then, I will see you guys in the next video.